Hey everyone, it's First Llama here with Black Green Tron. And this hand looks good. Uh, our opponent molded the five, which is always nice. We have Tron in hand and a worm coil engine. Not bad. And an ancient steering to go find stuff. Chromatic Star to play the Ancient Stirrings. I am very happy. All right. Let's see. Our opponent plays a Marsh Flats. And a Sacred Foundry. Sure. All right. Norin the Wary. <laughs> Now, I know I've told this story before, but my very first deck on Magic Online was a uh, Soul Sisters. Just because I, I like the idea of the deck actually like life game being viable against, you know, a considerable number of decks in the format. Um, anyway, we're going to go ahead and Ancient Stirrings, let Norrin pop out, pop back in, whatever. But I, I always thought that Norrin was... Uh, uh, the red, red, white version of Soul Sisters I always thought was kind of cool with Norin. Uh, I don't know. I, I think it's got better long game than the uh, the mono white version. But I think the mono white version has you know cards like uh, you know generally has better stuff like um, what's the name of the angel that you gain life and you get put plus one plus one creature counter on all your stuff. Basically, in Soul Sisters, you play them, you win the game. <laughs> um, guy, five mana, three, four flyer. Oh, I can't think of the name. I haven't played Magic in a while. I've been I've been up to a lot. Anyway, back to the game. Um, this game is not progressing very excitingly. Uh, all right, Genesis Chamber, fair enough. All right, now we're gonna go turn three, Karn. That sounds nice. So let's see. Oh, we could always go Oblivion Stone and then Oblivion Stone everything. But now nah, let's go Karn. All right, Norn leaves, Norn comes back. Um, yeah, I just think at this point, you know, our opponent could have some combat tricks, which would be much worse than they're actually being. I think combat tricks would be worse for, and, you know, kill Karn than to just play the safe route and be able to go uh, Oblivion Stone. Uh, okay, you <laughs> impact trimmers. Okay, whenever a creature enters a battlefield, deals one damage to each opponent. Not bad. Okay, that's the card that the uh, the white black modern tokens deck always needed. Um, but I guess that deck's not really a deck anymore. Hmm. Anyway, this is this this is exciting. Um, a lot of triggers, but I think I I do like the Soul Sister deck. I think it's like kind of a cool thing. It's like neat mechanics. So, let's see. I wonder if we're going to have to... So, it's going to happen. We're going to hit down to f six and then five. Um, yeah, all right. Four. Four, my bad. My bad. Four. Oh, because Norin, uh, the token. Ugh. All right. I think we can play a Sylvan Scrying. I can get a tower, net a mana, have enough for. Um, Oblivion Stone. 
Yeah, I don't think it really matters if we exile or... Well, we should probably exile a land. Just because Karn's going to die anyway. Um, well, unless our opponent can't kill it. I guess this is just our safeguard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. This is just our safeguard. Because if Karn... If, if, if they can't kill Karn this turn... Um, cause let's see. They should be able to do... Five, six damage. Well, they'll be able to do six damage, so they're going to kill Karn, but I was thinking maybe there's a chance they wouldn't. Um, if our opponent wasn't going to kill Karn, we could always have put a fate counter on him and then Oblivion Stoned. But that didn't quite work out. And so Norrin leaves play a thousand times. And Karn goes down. But, you know, we've saved ourselves, what, 12 damage or something? We, and our opponent doesn't know that we don't have a sweeper right now. <laughs> We're just dead. <laughs> if, um, you know, if there's a sweeper. Uh, you know, if we didn't have, if we didn't have Karn, didn't have, uh, I mean, there's no way we could kill all those tokens. If they just attacked us with those tokens, I think we would lose the game. Uh, but our opponent doesn't know that. They assume we probably have an Oblivion Stone, which, you know, we do. But eh, at the same time, it would have been tougher to... We would have been under more pressure. But anyway, let's go Ulamog, exile two lands, leave our opponents with nothing but a Plains. And that should do it. Unless our opponent's got, like, a path to exile or something, which I... I they could have, but I doubt it. All right, we win. Now, this match, there's going to be a lot of zero mana creatures, a lot of two mana of enchantments and artifacts, and uh, I think Warp, well, World Breaker, it kills enchantments, though, but it's so expensive. I think Warping Whale might be good, but I'm, I, I don't think so, just for, like, Soul Sisters. Um, nah. Clever Brutality is good. Nah, let's just do it like this. Engineer Explosives is good in exchange for World Breaker. Um, uh, this is good. Natural Tron. We can Chromatic Sphere, Chromatic Star, whatever, and cycle through it. Get ancient stir, use ancient stirrings, draw more, find more stuff. Yeah, this is good. Champion of the parish, no problem. All right, we're gonna go tower and sphere. Ooh, Thalia, that's that's a tough one. Um. Yeah, Thalia's not good. Thalia's definitely not good for us. Um, well, I guess we can always Ancient Stirrings for two mana. Try another Worthless Relic. Uh, and Engineered Explosives. But I have no colored mana, so I can't really play it. Um... Hmm, that's tough. Huh. Well, can't take collective brutality or I would kill Thalia. I think engineered explosives. Hmm. Or Ulamago. No, 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 I, I, I like this, I do like this. Here's why, here's why, here's why. With with Ulamog, it's like a game-winning card. We play him, we kill something, and then we attack for the win twice. Uh, you know, we attack once and it annihilates our opponent, we win. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Not too scary. 
Uh, we are going to hit for 5 down to 13, which is kind of rough on um, our opponent's turn 3, our turn 2, um, which is very aggressive, very, very aggressive. It's okay, buddy. There are some people walking by outside my house, and uh, my dog heard, heard them, and now he's going nuts. All right. <laughs> uh, okay, so our opponent plays another Nor in the Wary. Or, I'm sorry, uh, Nor in the Wary comes into play after playing a Godless Shrine at Tapped. And it makes uh, Champion of the Parish a 4 4. And I really hate making that thing bigger. But let's see. Could I go Chromatic Star for 2 mana, crack Chromatic Star, play Collector Brutality, kill Thalia? Yeah, that sounds reasonable. Should we make our opponent discard? Or should we do... Oh yeah, we'll discard relics, because they're worthless. Yeah, yeah, so we'll gain two life while we're at it. Yeah, cycling for three is not very good. I mean, hey, even Starstorm had cycling for three, and it had a sweet ability that would be absolutely played regularly in modern. <laughs> if you guys don't know, Starstorm was a instant red with cycling for three colorless mana. It was red, red, X, did X damage to each creature. Um, it was sweet. All right. And Norn comes back. Unfortunately, we don't have any way to kill the champion of the parish once it becomes bigger than like a 2-2 two -two or a 3-3. Three -three. Hmm. Hopefully. Uh. Um, yeah, that was a crap deal right there. <laughs> I don't think we're going to win this game now, um, no matter what we do. And we got green, so we can't get... Um, can't play Collective Brutality, but yeah, we're dead. That's okay. We'll bring in our warping whales, <laughs> and we'll take out some. Uh, I think Ulamog, old Ulamog is not that great. Um, yeah, and a relic's no good. Actually, both relics are worse than Ulamog because they do like nothing. So yeah, yeah, let's do that. All right. Yep, we want to play first. Yeah, yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, this is fine. We'll keep this. It's not ideal, but we do have Ugin, which wipes the board. We have Wormcoil, which kills everything. Uh, we have one Tron piece. 
plus a scrying, which is a second Tron piece, and I like that. And if we draw a Tron piece, we get, um, we, we have Tron, essentially. Assuming we don't draw the same Tron piece that we have already. Alright, soul is attendant. Alright, let's see. Um Oh, nice. Well, I think we need to play Blooming Marsh though, so we can make sure that we have a turn four Tron with Sylvan Scrying, because we can get a mine. And And not have to worry about um, finding the, the the last piece because we have them all. All right. We'll take our one our beats for one. Sorry if I'm a little distracted this game. Um, <laughs> my, my dog is licking his stitches. He had surgery last week. Um, they removed bladder stones and a, and also he had his, uh, I don't know, dachshunds. He's a wiener dog. They get this lumps on their stomach that they just have removed. They're like fat. So. But they're like lumps. They're kind of gross looking. So anyway, we thought, well, while you're in there, take that out too. Uh, poor little guy. was uh, For a few days there, he wasn't so hot. But now he's he's back to his old self. He's he's adorable as ever. All right. So I think next turn, we're going to go Karn. Uh, and we have the mana for Karn, which I do like. Ooh. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Can we do? We'll have eight mana, so we can do Karn, kill Thalia, and then yeah, because we go Karn, kill Thal. Ooh, ooh. Um, we have to kill Thalia's lieutenant. Well, I guess what we'll do is we'll just play Karn. We'll kill something. Uh, or hit our opponent's hand, and then we'll Ugin next turn. Because we're at 19 life, our opponent thinks they have a very solid lead, and I don't think they can kill us next turn with 7, because uh, they'll hit us down to, what, 12 or something now? Or 14, and then 7 more, so they'll be at... Uh, yeah, so we'd still be at 7. Um... Even if our opponent was able to have, what, two more humans come into play, they get his for eight, nine, ten, probably at maximum, with this guy, including the other two, because Norrin just goes away. Yeah, let's Karn. We're Karnin. Karn. Yeah, Karn is definitely the way to go. Because now, hopefully, let's hope this works. Um, yeah, beat our opponent's hand up. Bam, beat your hand up. I like doing that. Okay, well, Godless Shrine, that's better than nothing. Okay, so we pass the turn back. Can we die? I don't think so. Seven, eight, nine. You know, how many would it have to be? It'd have to be like um, double Thalia's lieutenant is what it would have to be. And that would be everything gets plus. So it'd be seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, they could kill us if it's double Thalia's lieutenant, but I don't think they can. All right, a dark confidant. That is fine with me. Oh my goodness. 
I have my old dog that had surgery and my new dog that I just got. I rescued him from a shelter. And all the time, they lay next to each other in the bed wrapped up in a blanket because they're dogs and they love to, like, burrow and be under blankets. And they fall asleep and they wake up and bark at each other because <laughs> they didn't know the other one was there. It's hysterical. If they wake up, they bark, and they go back to sleep. Exactly where they were. They didn't move. Anyway, okay, so we got hit for... What's this? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Ah. Yeah, that was pretty hard, but it's okay. We've got, uh, we're going to Karn out of the hand and Spirit's Dragon all the way to the board. Uh, yeah, let's uh, sacrifice our Sanctum of Ugin. Search for a guy seven or greater. Let's see, could I have seven, eight... Um, whatever. I think the game's pretty much over, but we don't want to get ahead of ourselves. All right. And, bam. And get rid of your last card, too, which is a Zulaport Cutthroat, which is interesting. Alright. Our opponent concedes. After playing a Norin, we win. Thanks for watching.